だけどね。Hello guys, and in this Fireworks CS4 and CS5 tutorial, we're going to be learning how to do a automatic slideshow in Fireworks CS4. Now, this can be used to work in your um, website, and it is really easy to do. You don't even have to know how to use Fireworks to do this. It is so simple. So, all we're going to have to do is go to Commands, and we're going to have to go down to Create a Slideshow. Once we're there, we're just going to click it and wait until it loads up, and this dialog box will come up like so. Over here, we have the title or the folder name, and then we have the images and the caption. Now, over at the side, we have some properties down the side here, and we'll get to them in a sec. But first off, you're going to want to add some images that you're going to want in your slideshow. So I'm going to hit the plus sign up here. It will say current open files. Ignore that. Just click the little three, two dot, three dots at the side and browse to whatever folder you want. Once in the folder, you're just going to highlight the images that you want and then hit done. So now, once they're done, I'm just going to click OK. Now we have this folder up here called Gallery, and when I click open, we have these um, texts. And this is going to be used in my brand new website that I have not actually released yet, that I will be putting up soon. And you can move, say, if I want this one at the top, I can just use the arrows to take it all the way to the top. Maybe I want gold text to go there, and so on. So once you've got your images that you're going to want to use, you can have more than one albums because in the side of the dialog box, in the when we actually make the um, what is it called, the actual gallery, um, the slideshow gallery, there are, there's actual albums and album names. So you can actually change this name. I might just want to put it to text effects maybe, like so. And over here we can give it a title. So it's just going to maybe called my slideshow. Um, you can add a description and here we can choose what we want now these are all flash based except for one down the bottom that is actually a, a flash plugin not required so if we go on that it's, it's some different one but I'm going to be using a flash one because it uses so well in Dreamweaver and a lot of other website based things so we have this Dreamweaver um, sort of green one here we have some white one um, black one here, this white one here and so on and the smartest out of all and by by far is this um, player black flash this one here is it's gotta be the smartest, I'm gonna use this one um, I'm gonna choose automatic slideshow and allow clicking images so I might just do it so it's a new tab so if you click on an image it's just gonna pop up a brand new tab on the internet and show you it in nice big size says the album first album name we can go to album properties we can add a description maybe a thumbnail and a background but I'm not going to do that because you don't really need to captions um, you can add captions to every single one of your photos but I've just added them in with Photoshop so that doesn't really matter filters you can choose a filter um, so you can maybe have it in like blurred you can have it in grey I'm not going to do any of them um, I just want to have my in colour Slideshow properties. Um, I'm going to use a transaction, a transition. Sorry, and I'm going to make it a fade, so it fades into each one. Um, you can just add the time, how long you want the fade to take. I'll put it back to one second, and then in the export, ex export options. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to choose where you want it to go. So I'll just do mine to my desktop, for example. Um, that will do open so that's going to do it to my desktop and then when you can choose the width and the height I'm just going to do 500 by 300 because my images aren't that big you can enlarge images um, that does make the quality not as good but I'm going to hit the quality up to 90 I don't want it to be too high actually because actually 95 will do because if you have a 100 it might just be a bit too big and it might take quite a while to load on your website depending on your internet speed and so on so now, now once we're there we're just going to hit create and now it's going to actually um, do it and it does not take long at all it is really really good so we're nearly there okay I'm going to launch the slideshow in browser and I'm going to hit done now if I go to my browser here we are we have the actual slideshow as you can see over here we have the um, text we have this little s slider so we can go up to the top as you can see there if we hit the play button it will actually play it so you can see it fades in and then 
if you wait a certain amount of time um, see if it'll do it you can you can always um, mess around with the how long it's going to be on a picture for it does say actually I didn't um, I think I put it pretty high but as you can see over here you'd have the albums you can have more than one over here um, and I've just got all these these text effects of what I've done in some of my tutorials and you know they look really good there would be a thumbnail if you want to add one in and the name and then you can have more albums at the top now these are really easy to import you all you have to do is um, drag them into Dreamweaver and it is done and I will do another video on that maybe but as you can see this is it and we did not even use any of we didn't even have to create anything it is such an easy thing to do using um, fireworks so I hope you enjoyed this first ever fireworks tutorial from me so stay tuned there will be more coming so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and see ya